And welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. We're going to do something just a little bit different today. For the longest time, I've been doing all kinds of different things in regards to, uh, let's see, permadeath, Iron Man challenges, and things like that. Decided to do something a little different. I saw one of the other streamers and video producers, content creators, if you will, doing something interesting. Uh, he goes by the name of Captain Steve, and he does random portal addresses. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to actually do just one random portal. We're going to make this a short video. And in the, in the, from that random portal, we're going to go to whatever system it brings us to. We're going to explore that said system. I'm going to pull my freighter in, scan everything. We're going to take a quick look around and see what we can find and see if there's anything interesting to be found in this system. Again, it's just going to be one system. And you'll see what things we're going to be putting on there. Now, I'm at my... Uh, really really sad ground base that I have here and it's not really important there's not a lot going on here I might even change my ship because uh, I kind of like and prefer to have my solar ships so again there is literally nothing here but I've always loved this planet um, it's just it's got a beauty to it I know it has a little bit of a yellow sky to it but between the blue water uh, and everything here everything here is perfectly perfectly like a paradise if you will with the exception is there's one particular sea creature that likes to attack and nibble at your feet. I don't know why. It's kind of strange like that. Anyway, so we're going to take this up to our freighter, for starters, uh, which is I've aptly named one of this particular freighter I've named after one of Admiral Thrawn's ships, the Death's Head. So we're going to go ahead and take that up. And... Here we are on our freighter. Um, and in case you haven't looked through some of the other videos I've done in the past, uh, this is I have this really spread out and open. I like open areas. I really don't like being closed up at all. A little claustrophobic. Um, so I decided to make sure I kind of set it up in such a way that it would honor the Grand Admiral. You know, to make sure you had your gallery full of things that you've collected over the time and help you study other civilizations and things like that. Not to mention, of course, you have to have your office over to one side, um, which contains a couple other items as well. Um, have yet to put the big, huge planetarium-looking thing in here, but, eh, you know, I'll figure that out one of these days. Anywho, so again, this is our freighter. And before we go anywhere, we're going to use this portal here. Now, to be clear, let's show you where I am right now. The set, yeah, yeah. Good luck pronouncing that myself. But this system is in, and the best way to determine where it is, let me go to the portal real quick, is in the Eisentum galaxy. So you'll see that uh, here's Euclid, Euclid, Euclid. If we go to the space stations, which is the current system here, um, it's not telling you what galaxy, but this one says it's in Euclid. That's because the current system in it is the Eisentum. So I'm going to be doing these portal glyphs <clears throat> based on the Eisentum galaxy. So I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to check one thing real quick. Um, I believe everything in the Eisenton galaxy starts with our bird at the bottom left. If you look at the corner there, I'll get a little bit of view there. Okay, so that's my portal glyph. Uh, feel free to drop by the planet by all means. This system I'm in has five planets to it, with three of those planets being paradise planets. So you get your pick and choose. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so we so I've got the glyphs showing on my screen right now uh, that I'm going to up me on my cell phone right now on a, on an app, and it has chosen out the glyphs for me of what I'm going to go to. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the first glyph to the bird, because right now it shows the sun. So. Again, we can't go from here, so I'm going to go to the planet again, and I'm going to go... Yeah, you probably already figured that out. Paul. Well, what are you doing? Yeah, I understand. Don't worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of my bases. Uh, a settlement. My settlement of all places is actually in the Euclid Galaxy as well. Um, so I'm going to make sure it's in the Eisentum current system, uh, which should be Whitney. Yes. Sad little outpost. So we'll go right back where we were. And again, I'll probably choose a different uh, different ship at this point. I love my Golden Vector. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a good ship. But for the purposes of exploration, I really like to use one of my solar ships. They get 
much better range on their pulse drive. And the recharging ability is fabulous. So, even though he's there, I will drop in. Wrong button. Let's see, what do we got? Uh, Hand of Death, maybe? Yeah. There we go. Let's go Blue Divide. Kind of matches my color scheme a little better, being with the blue and gold. Alright, so we need to head towards a portal. So, I always try to build my base near a portal, but not right on top of it. I always put a save beacon there. I should really color my save beacons one of these days. There we go. Alright. So let's do this. Probably going to have to recharge this thing. Always do. Don't know what it is about it, but... There we go. Yeah, oxygen. I've got crap tons of that. Let's do a little sodium nitrate. I don't like using deuterium. Don't let me do that again. Somebody say something, please. What? It's not live. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Just messing with you. So, best part about today is that I am not at my secular job. And I'm allowed to do this because I'm not there right now. And, uh, you know, it's always a good thing. So I'm just taking a little bit of time today. I'm not quite all by myself. Yep, I know. There we go. Activate the portal. Okay, so... Again, I'm not going to use the sun as my first one. I'm going to use the bird. Okay? And then we're going to go with the rest of these portals from left to right and going down the screen. So we're going to go sun... Uh, I'm going to name them off how I call them, not what they're actually called, of course. Uh, balloon, whale, trivial pursuit. Yeah, go ahead and laugh. Black hole. Hands in the air or YMCA. Either one. Back to the black hole. Uh, TP. Uh, dinosaur. Dragonfly. And finally, spaceship. Now, if it doesn't lock onto an actual planet, it'll go to the nearest one to that address. Let's see if it gives us a message about that. Hold on. Ooh, okay, no message. So I think we may have landed at an actual planet. Let's see what happens here. See where we end up. Love to find a mechanical planet again. You don't find too many of those with mechanical animals on it, but that would be pretty cool. Okay, come on. I do not want the fate of Artemis here. Just land me on a planet. Hmm. First contact, Anio Delta. Sentinels are high security. I don't know if that means they're going to attack the crap out of me, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> that's that's a key. <laughs> Flora, fauna, typical, usually mild. Okay, so tropical planet is what we ended up on. Uh, I don't see any around yet. Uh, yep, gravitino balls, of course. Okay. Oh, all right. Armored clan. That means we've got water on this planet. Copper. Cobalt. Oh, hello. Time to run. Alright. Got out of there in time. Let's scan. Okay, now the, the, the settlements like this that are on the edge of the water, you know as well as I do, there's usually nothing there whatsoever. It's usually just a little campground. So I doubt we're going to find anything. Yeah, it's not even a ship there. 
I keep getting a blurb occurring out that way, though. Oh, okay. Well, so let's take a peek around. Now, again, we I'm going to try to find an actual settlement settlement that I can land at. Um, maybe not a minor settlement. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, that's interesting. That must be the portal I came through, of course. Uh, let's see. There's something over here. Oh, scanning area. Hmm, interesting. I would rather land there. Good, we're only 17 minutes away. Not happening. I do love this ship. It's quite pretty. Kind of an off-white, kind of leaning towards the green spectrum sails. Time to get a phone call on your cell phone. Okay, coming in. Okay, regular ordinary settlement. Let's go ahead and take it. Alright, so we'll be a little bit better protected here. Okay. So, that said, we're going to call in our freighter. And we'll take a jump up there real quick. I just wanted to land here first. There, there are all my little frigates all popping in. I think the music's getting a touch loud. Sorry about that. Um, just check something real quick. Resources are typical, so I'm assuming this is a two-star system. Uh, we're not getting much in the way of ships here. Eh, i got an A-class over there. Is there another one over there? Yeah, there is. All our C-class. Okay, good deal. All right, let's head up to the freighter. Take a look. There we go. Really cool if we had some of those like droids from Separatist Army from Star Wars in this thing. Roger, Roger. Anyway, okay, so here we are. So we have a scanner on board. Now, I haven't used it in ages, but here we go. Planetary probe made. Now we got all the planets. So we are there. That's where we landed, Anio Delta. Very interesting name for a planet. Uh, what do we got? Pillared planet. So that's interesting. We've got a Xeno colony. Okay. Another paradise planet. There we go. Salvageable scrap on board that planet. That's interesting. Huh. That could be very interesting. Uh, Fiery Dread, Dread World. Uh, nice place to set up a vacation home. And a calcified planet. So also probably no flora and fauna on it. So between the two of them. But these are going to be glitch planets too. So you can get there and you can find some glitches if you haven't filled up that area. Let's check out the Paradise Planet. Uh, hmm, interesting. Alaha. I kind of like the name. I don't know. It's kind of grown on me. Couldn't tell you why. Let's go ahead and take a ride, shall we? So this is, again, this is a very casual gameplay today. Not your cup of tea, no problem. You just want to sit back and relax, watch, have a cup of tea. By all means, you do what you wish. Alright, so we're looking for a planet that has rings around it. Hey, I think we found it. Let's head this way a little bit. Whoa, okay, look at all the stars or suns in this system, huh? Green, red, and blue. Fascinating. I don't know, I don't think I could have named that planet any better. Come on, you gotta be laughing at that. 
What's the possibility of me picking a random address, landing on a planet that's named Paula? Unreal. Alright, what do we got? Now, I think we're at sunset. I don't think we're at... Daytime. You see, this is one of those paradise planets that I don't particularly care for the color scheme on it. It's very monochromatic. Get that dullish red type look. I mean, if you like that kind of thing, great. But let me see what happens as I get closer to the sun on this side. You know what? Let's, let's actually blast out of the atmosphere and we'll approach it from a different angle. Get past the rings. Bunk. There we go. Turn around and look back. All right, let's go right about dead center over there. I'm not seeing any water on this planet. So if you like planets that have water on it, like my uh, other planet that I have my main base on, well, that would probably be a good thing. Looks like we've got a structure over here. If it's the right kind of structure, we'll have a landing pad. If it's abandoned, we won't. It is abandoned. I can see the whispering eggs. Okay. Take a quick peek around. Yeah, see, not much to it. Yeah, I've got a deposit there. That's why that's highlighted. Let's head a little bit north. Take another quick scan. Let's comb the ground a little bit, huh? Boink! Hey. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Ah, uh, just a campground, if you will. No, well, that's maybe what I saw. And it's also abandoned. How weird. Okay, so we got some abandoned structures here. What have we there? A sentinel outpost. Unbelievable. Hmm. Anybody interested? I know I am. How about a little sentinel battle? We've only been recording for 18 minutes. Let's make it a half hour, shall we? Okay, get the pulse spitter re ready. It looks like we need a little bit more ammo. Wrong button again. That's okay, I'll be alright. Uh, anybody see my ammunition? Anybody? Anybody? I'm probably looking right at it. I know I am. Don't tell me I put my ammunition on board my ship. That would be stupid. Because I'm looking at my ship. Oh wow, I have some stuff in here I haven't gotten rid of yet. Sorry. That should be good. Okay. Let's get started. Hey, buddy. Let's reload. Oh, for crying out loud. It didn't start reloading on its own. Oh, you know what's going on? <laughs> I did a video not too long ago, and I changed my uh, weapon around. Dee -dee -dee. There we go. Hi. Bye. Hi. Bye. Let's get back down here. That explains why it was taking so long to take them out. Now, do I have my scatter blaster or the pulse spitter where it belongs? Okay, pulse spitter it is. Hi there. You know what I imagine these guys are? Extended warranty salesmen. 
No, I don't want an extended warranty on my vehicle. Thank you very much. All right, let's get him from this direction, shall we? Now I could go back there and just shut him down, but pfft, why? Also, oh, there we go. I love the fast reload on this one. What are you doing all the way up there? Who shot me? Do do do. -do. Should be a walker, shouldn't there? No? Not a walker, a quadruped, but I guess that's going to be on level 3. Alright. Kind of messy over here. We're going to point in this direction now. Okay. Gone. That's funny. Shot the thing right out of the air. Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> Should I be singing songs right about now? Would that be better? You know what would be really funny? I've let, I, I always thought about doing this, that maybe we should do, uh, you know... Some kind of an ASMR video to Sentinel Battles. Come on. You know that's funny. Get really close to the microphone. Reduce the firepower that's going on right now. I swear to you and swear all that's holy, I will not lick my microphone. Dance, baby. There we go. Where'd the hole come from? Seriously? Anybody else? Who's next? Yeah, reinforcements again. Okay, let's go over here. You guys have kind of messed it all up over here, so I'm going to stand over here now. What are we on, level 5? Yeah, this will only take a minute. I missed... Okay, next. I heard a bang. Do do do. All right, how many we got left? You. Gone. How you doing? Yeah, that didn't take long. Hey, come on. I want my brain. Do -do -do. Yeah, that didn't take long at all. Yeah, come on. I want you. Now, we should have... Hey, how you doing? Ah, Girl Scout cookies, huh? Uh, let's see, uh, we didn't miss any supplies, did we? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we got them all. Ugh, what a mess. I mean, honestly.
let's just fill in the holes. I don't know what that was. Any holes over here? Yeah, there's one right there. There we go. That looks a little better. Anybody else? No? Okay, we're good. Well, let's see what kind of weapon we got over here. Since we don't need to shut down the Sentinels anymore. Uh, what do we got? Hey, what do you know? It happens to be a royal. Cool. Not bad, not bad. So maybe we should drop something here to let people know that there's a royal weapon here. Now, though, almost, I've never seen one come across as being B or A or S class at one of these Sentinel pillars. So you probably have to upgrade the snot out of this one to get it to where you need it to be. A lot of nanites. A lot of nanites to get it there. But, you know, it can be done. You know, you've probably seen my video on that stuff, so... You can get plenty of that. Uh, accessing the logs. If you do the access logs, you're going to get a storyline. So the more sentinel pillars you go through, the more storyline you get, you get a title. So that's something that you can think about doing, is getting titles for your characters. Um, so let's go ahead and... Uh, what do we want? Let's do a save beacon. I was going to do a communication station. I might do both. Let's, let's do both. I need some metal plates. Okay. Let's do that. I like that idea. So we'll start with a save beacon. Let's change the color. I like the blue. I like the yellow blue for certain reasons. I'll leave that to you to understand. It's not just to do with my color scheme. Uh, let's see and place that sucker down. Okay. And we'll also go with the communication station. I'm going to do the same thing here. There we go. Royal multi tool. Whoops, that's not English. Here. And quick signature. Okay. All done. So, yeah, not a bad planet. Again, like I said, I don't particularly care for the color scheme. Uh, I'm not much into the red, to be honest. Looks like we got a building up there, too. Um, why don't we check out a salvage container real quick and just see what it has for us. Looks like we're just about shy of the half-hour mark. Ooh, got a little bit of a drop here, huh? Switch over to our... Ray manipulator. Okay. Sorry, got to clear out all the crap. Now, what happens when you get one of these? It doesn't look like a very popular one, mind you. You're going to have usually some corrupted sentinels are going to appear, so. Uh, I guess we'll use mining for this one. Did I already... Nah. I think he appeared in the ground something? I don't know. Full spitter? Yeah. Son of a gun. That's it? There was one and he died immediately? What, I scare him to death? That's just crazy. Looks like there's a lot of flora and fauna here. Um, fauna, I should say. Eh, six. And looks like mostly ground-based. Okay, I've already found five of the six. What's up with that? Did I even literally just about find all of the creatures in this planet? The other one's going to be underground or something, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is, underground. Okay. No big deal. Um, one more? It's not too far away. Let's go ahead and do one more. Now, I'd like to check out the Fiery Dread world real quick. We'll see what that's all about. You know what? Something I haven't done in a long time. Let's see. Who do we want to call it? Eh, 
There we go. Shall we? Wow, talk about your delays, huh? That was another subscriber. I wanna, I, you know what? I haven't said anything to you folks about that. I want to show appreciation to you guys about this. Um, um, there has been a lot of appreciation, and I, I want to be honest with you. I really appreciate all the subscribers. It was unprecedented this past weekend. Um, I did a live broadcast on Saturday, and... Not a whole lot of people but jumped on. I didn't expect a whole lot of people to jump on. It was very interesting. Um, I was nervous as crap. And honestly, I, I uh, kept thinking to myself afterwards, I don't know if I'm ever going to do this again. I probably will. I probably every two weeks, maybe once a month or something like that, I'll jump on for a live live run. Um, because it was the expedition and a speed run, maybe it didn't get as much attention. There's a possibility of what I'll do from now on, though, is I'm going to do a... Uh, Iron Man challenge. I'll do the permadeath Iron Man challenge. One of the people made a comment on one of the uh, videos I had that said, hey, this would be a lot better if you did a live run on this. Uh, it'd be much more exciting. And I was like, yeah, that's actually not a bad idea at all. And I like that idea. So that'll be the next thing. When will it happen? I don't know. It is currently February 17th, uh, pardon me, January 17th. Probably another month, maybe mid-February I'll do that. I expect that there's going to be an update. So let's take a pause here for just a second. I expect that there's going to be an update coming from Hello Games sometime mid-February. Speculation has it at the 22nd or so. Um, historically, their early year updates have come out around the 15th through 17th, somewhere in that general area. So I would expect something's going to happen around that time. It's probably going to be an expedition, possibly as well. So there is that. So I want to talk about that and speculate on that just a touch. So I think that's going to be next in the coming. Now, as far as what the update's going to entail, I haven't got a clue. There are so many different areas that you could possibly do on this. A lot of people would love to see a lot more in regards to Starship um, adjustments you know basically not just adjustments but being able to allow us to adjust our starships however we see fit to add parts remove parts uh zane i think zane from zane's world actually had a very good segment on how that could be done without ruining what we currently have and it's very interesting his aspects on that who knows maybe he'll get listened to um there's other aspects that can be done on this um, base building on the ground i think could have some a little bit of updates on there uh the cave systems um, I almost hate to sound like that other uh, mining game that you all are familiar with that's been around forever, um, but the cave systems, I think, here need to be updated at some point or another um, to have a planet where it has a more intricate cave system where you can find ruins within cave systems and stuff like that, something that's a little more exploratory. Um, you get caught underground, so to speak, below areas that you shouldn't be able to get into, things like that. That's an idea. I mean, they've done it with the oceans. Why can't we do it with the cave systems? It's a thought process. Um, there's, again, so much you can do. The space stations, you can adjust and get a little bit uh, crazier with those. Um, you can have all kinds of different new styles of ships, things like that. Adjustments to multi-tools, things that you can do to multi-tools to adjust for them. You know, I'm using the OSOC right now that really is way OP. Um, and I've gotten some comments on that as well. You're right. I mean, it's a powerful weapon. And when you start adjusting it a little bit here, a little bit there to get that extra 10% out of it, when you're putting out 42,700 damage, does 10% really make a difference? And that's what he, that's the that's the case that one of the commenters made on this too. You know, really at that kind of damage level, who cares? <laughs> you know, you're really taking things out left and right, as you could see. So getting back to my original thought, I want to at least say thank you so much for subscribing. Um, we have nearly doubled the amount of subscribers from Friday through Monday. And I'm just blown away by that. It's We're just sitting there watching the subscriber tick, 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 tick. I'm like, wow, this is incredible. I don't know what I've done, but apparently there's something about the videos that I'm doing that is appreciated. So 
thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to stop doing videos anytime soon that I'm aware of. I'm really enjoying this. I may spread my videos out a little bit. Uh, I've been doing the normal run through just to give you guys an idea of how to play that. I've been releasing them twice a week. Um, I may be, now that I've done the main storyline and the last couple stories are coming out, I think I'm going to be slating them out for once a week. Um, some base building things. I'm going to get into the, to the settlements. Um, we're going to do some of the secondary missions and things like that and actually just hone that all out. Um, there's been a lot of uh, other speculation in regards to the upcoming upcoming uh, update that's going to be downloading soon. So I'm not going to get into that. I leave that to Captain Steve, uh, Professor Cynical. Uh, Jason has his own theories and thoughts on this from Jason Play. Zane, of course, if he will as well. So appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all the extra people that have been uh, uh, really inspired me to be here today. So thank you very much for all that. And I just want to get back to this real quick. I'm going to use my laser, I guess. Yep. To take this out. And I got a rare item out of it. Nice. And no sentinels. Fascinating. Crusty radiator. <laughs> Sounds like one of the old cars in my driveway right now. All right. And what have we here? Oh, okay. I know what these are. These are my automation. See? So I can automate them and he can follow me around. And I keep some extra supplies on board so I can uh, set them all up for everything. So he's a, he's a pretty good dude, this Minotaur. I really do like him a lot. Uh, and I got a Sentinel boundary map out of that? You got to be kidding me. Yep, he's looking at you too. What? Yeah, really. Let's jump out for just a second. Uh, take a quick peek around. And there's where my ship is. All right, let's head back to the ship. Um, and I think we're going to call it here. Again, I want to check out the Fiery Dread world. So let's, uh, let's get moving here. These are pretty cool guys to have on your side. One of the expeditions actually capitalized on these quite a bit and uh, made you use them for quite a while. You had to get like a, a thousand steps out of it or something like that. No fall damage. I love it. Absolutely love it. He yeah, is pretty cool. Hey, buddy. This is what a two-legged walker should be like. Actually got him damaged. I had to check his uh, guts real quick here in just a minute. There we go. We got the message. I guess it's working. Let's take a look inside. Just make sure nothing's damaged. Nope. Looks like we're okay. All right. Out we go. All right. So let's check out our fiery dread world. And then we'll call this one. Alright, first person view so we can find the planet to begin with. That might be it. I gotta get away from the atmosphere here for it to pick it up. Pillared. Okay, not it. Right there. Xeno Colony. Here's my planet that I'm at right now. There's one right here. We can get it. Alright, let's go around the planet real quick. Calcified. That's the same planet, right? Yes, it is. Where is our... Fiery. Calcified. Must be on the other side of this one. Okay, hang on a second, folks.
Okay, so we're on the way to the Fiery Dread World. As you can see, we found it. This will only be a moment, and then we'll take a look at it. It's pretty far out there, so let me pause here, and I'll pick up in just a second. And we're back. And this is an interesting-looking planet. Very weird-looking. And this is what I like about No Man's Sky, is the exploration portion of things on this. I mean, I do all these videos on permadeath runs and all this other stuff, but it's really the exploration I love. Let's see if we can just find some place to park the car, and we'll get out and take a little quick walkabout and see what's, see what's out here. Oh, there's something, but I'll go ahead and land there anyway. It's probably just, yeah, go figure. Drop pod. Ugh, nowhere near it. Nice job. Great job parking. Ah, oh, looks like we got our... Got a worm. He's heading away. Okay, not towards. Very nice. Why is the ground red here? Fascinating. A lot of red spots around the ground. How interesting. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we've got ten animals on this planet. And it looks like they're regular animals, nothing special. Ah, a little variation on some of the animals I've seen in other planets. Oh, really ugly animals, sorry. In my opinion. Ah, okay, see that? Titan worm burrows, which means we've got a lot of titan worms around here. So that would be an interesting... So the Fiery Dread Worlds, that's right, they are common to have whispering eggs laying all over the place and titan worms everywhere as well. Fascinating. Any basalt? Durable fruit? Really? Ferrite dust and oxygen. That's primary element. There's no secondary on that one. That one has secondary dihydrogen. That's what's been happening on a lot of these planets lately. Ah, uh, too far away. Okay. So, I think we're going to call it here. I might just go ahead and grab this. Just because... I can always use an upgrade. I haven't upgraded my suit all the way yet. Strangely enough, as you can see. Yeah, look at that. Even out that whole bottom area. That's nice. Okay. Yep, I kind of like this place. Not bad. Not. I don't think I'd set up a summer home here, but it's kind of nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take it back to my freighter. Oh, you probably want to call in real quick. There we go. So yeah, all in all, halfway decent system. Found ourselves a royal multi-tool, which we're not going to use because I've already got one. But pretty cool system, and, and who can deny the name the Paulus system? So, you know, or planet. That's just too funny. Alright. So I want to thank you all for watching. By all means, hit that subscribe button, which should be showing up on your screen somewhere in the bottom left or bottom right hand corner I'm assuming the bottom left um, and I hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments section if you just want to make a comment about it always welcome comments you know I try to get back to you as quickly as I can thank you very much for watching everybody take care